Are you curious to find out what's happening with AI and the tech industry right now? Well, in this video, I took a look at some of these things in the top news that are occurring and why it's important for you. Maybe you're an investor, maybe you're just interested because this information is going to have wide reaching effects. Also, we're going to discuss what's happening with China targeting Micron. Okay, another company that's involved in these spaces. And of course, what the future of cryptocurrency is in relation to artificial intelligence. All of that here today. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. I do have several articles to go through in this beginning segment uh, that are about artificial intelligence and so on. But specifically, I wanted to look at a few things, a few aspects of it and cover that right here for you. Artificial intelligence is the next big thing in the chip industry, and it's a major driving factor for what's happening with investments. This is the big hot thing. Everywhere you turn, chat, GPT, AI, companies are adding AI into their name and they're seeing a boost in their performance. It's ridiculous. But NVIDIA is one of the chip makers that's using AI to make their products smarter and more efficient. NVIDIA was another company that saw so much growth over the past uh, few years, really outperformed the market for various reasons. Of course, their chips are used in all these different computers and other technologies, but it's you know potentially being used for mining cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and so on. So of course, it saw huge growth. And now we're seeing AI giving it another potential boost. And AI is the talk of the town today. Micron is also taking advantage of this AI explosion to deal with the chip industry's recent downturn. So we'll look at that as well. And then, of course, China, they've got their own issues because you can see that the US, Netherlands, and Japan have tried to sort of stamp down on China and what they've been doing with semiconductors. But then China's hitting back. Let me show you something. Here we go. Uh, buy NVIDIA stock because the chip maker is an AI play. So they're saying because of AI, that makes NVIDIA a buy opportunity. But there's a couple of things here. Generative AI has triggered an inflection point in technology. It is genuinely a new computing platform. And the whole point here, I'm just trying to say that as long as AI is there and as long as we keep hearing about that, there is hardware that needs to go beyond that, and as well as the software too. So both of these things have to be operating together and growing together in order to get us leaps and bounds and further ahead so that uh, you know we don't need to wake up in the morning, we could have our uh, surrogates do it, I guess. Anyway, uh, here's the next one. The beaten down chip industry may be on the verge of a turnaround and the AI explosion is at least partly to thank. That's according to Micron. Okay, the CEO of Micron, said this, we continue to see AI as a secular driver of demand growth in the data center. We are well positioned to capture the memory and micron storage opportunities that AI and data centric computing architectures will provide. Now, just basically saying, hey, semiconductors, computers, chips, memory, all these different things are needed in this AI explosion. So therefore, our company is positioned to do well. So those are the things. So as an investor, you could be looking at this, but even an individual, if you're looking at your portfolio, maybe you've got a mutual fund and so on, you could say, look, I think AI is going to be a driver. I think it's going to be continuing for the next few years. As a result of that, where do I have my money? Where do I want to put it? That's up to you to decide. I don't tell people what to do with their money, but I give you the information, certainly. Tech war. China hits back at American chip firms as a regulator launches cybersecurity probe into Micron's products. It is the first time that the Chinese government has targeted the US semiconductor companies. Micron had previously warned investors of the risks of being excluded from the China market. And of course, hey, if they're not able to deal with China, this company is saying, hey, that kind of sucks for us. We want to make some money. We want to sell to them. But you can see what happens right here, right? So that's just one of the many things that's happening right now with AI, with technology, just a few points that I wanted to make for you. Okay, now we look at the um, next part of this. And of course, you see what's happening with these tech companies. Layoffs, workforce reduction, and restructuring continue to take place in the tech industry, as well as other industries, by the way. Big giants, Electronic Arts, Virgin, all these different companies are cutting, you know, small percentages or large percentages 
of the total workforce. The demand for skilled workers paired with the effect of the issues from 2020 contributed to these decisions, at least what they, that's what they say. This uh, will go into some of those things that are happening. I'll just show you those details here and now. Bay Area tech layoffs widen with cuts by chip maker and streaming titan Marvel and Roku plan more job cuts. This is just a couple examples. There are so many. Take a look at this. Electronic Arts saying it's laying off 6% of its workforce. You have this, Virgin Orbit, to cut its workforce by 85%. So it depends on the company, it depends what's going on here, but a lot of these things were hailed as the latest and greatest thing, and then, hey, they got to cut back in their workforce. Now, that does good for their stock, but it's not so good for the jobs and the economy, right? We want to see job growth. And the job, like the unemployment rate and, and all that, that, that will never uh, accurately uh, depict what's happening. But anyway, IP, IBM spinoff, Kindrel, cuts small percentage of its 90,000 workforce. So it doesn't matter which company, it seems like everybody's either positioning for complete annihilation or they're trimming the fat. And that's where the stage we're at right now. If the central banks start to cut interest rates and allow inflation to go wild, there could be a period of time in which, uh, you know, all of this seems to be okay. I don't, want, I don't know how other ways to say it, but uh, they can cover that up for a little while. Anyway, as cryptocurrencies become more mainstream, the role of AI in this field is becoming more prominent. Fetch.ai is one of those AI focused crypto protocols that have raised significant funding to deploy decentralized machine learning. Too much of what we have in the financial industry is all centralized. We know that. Central banks, literally centralized. But even in the cryptocurrency world, Bitcoin, everything, there is a lot of centralization too. So uh, it would be nice to see decentralization going on because then one person or a small group of people can't make the decisions uh, for everybody. But that's kind of uh, part of this whole thing. So let me show you what's happening right here. I can give you that information. Artificial intelligence focused crypto protocol Fetch.ai has raised $40 million from market makers and investment firm DWF Labs. Fetch will use the investment to deploy decentralized machine learning, autonomous agents, and network infrastructure on its platform. These different things, basically to me, mumbo jumbo, maybe to you as well, but the point here is that technology is advancing really fast, even within these new technologies like artificial intelligence and um, cryptocurrencies and all that. that. That's the point I'm trying to make here in this video, okay? That's, that's the takeaway. So you as an individual, we want to have some level of exposure to these technologies. Not necessarily that you're investing in them, but that you could be utilizing them. You can utilize these. As an individual, I talked about the example previously, as an, an electrician could be using things like chat GPT to, you know, get the knowledge that, that they need. I mean, that, that to me, that's big, that, that's really important. Okay, so we'll talk more about that here in just a second. Uh, you could see, did you really think that the central banks and the government would allow a competitor to fiat, uh, fiat money to exist? This is basically just talking about... I mean, there's, there's a lot in this article. It's basically, it sure looks like the US is trying to kill crypto. And what I see is that they are definitely going to be regulating it on you know one degree or another. And it's likely to come from what they would call the off-ramp. And that is the exchanges. The exchanges, like with, with what happened with FTX and so on, uh, terrible that it was allowed to happen and people will actually lose their money. Uh, but that's the investing game that we live in today. So the government's going to come in, they're going to restrict, and that's not going to happen on the cryptocurrencies and it's not going to be to Bitcoin and all that, those different things. They can do these things on the off-ramp. So the exchange gets regulated. So your money in the crypto world can remain there and nothing could ever necessarily happen. You could just decentralize exchanges, exchanges that are not in your country, exchanges that are crypto-friendly countries and so on. Uh, but ultimately, when you try to bring that off into a bank account, the bank account will be subject to the rules and regulations. So that's the way it goes, okay? City says mass adoption of crypto will be uh, driven by CBDCs and tokenization. And actually, I do agree with that. Um, so I think they're going to implement some level of a universal basic income. They can put that through with the CBDC. 
and then people will just have it. Okay, now everybody's got CBDC, they take out their phone, they're tapping, just like food stamps, they could use that anywhere. CBDC, here's some free money, go ahead. And so now everybody's on that. And then they say, well, at the same time, maybe this cryptocurrency thing is not too difficult. I mean, it's just the same thing, I'm just tapping. So, uh, you know, not a big deal. So I think it will actually make people more comfortable with the idea of a completely digital money because some people actually still believe that gold is backing the currency, which we know that's we know that's long gone. Okay. AI focused crypto protocol. This is part of the same one. And then right here, it just gets into more of that, talking about AI and the different uh, advancements that have happened and, and so on. I think I've made my point is that we want to have exposure, not just in an investment scale, but we want that to be part of our you know, things that we do. If there's something that we can do, for instance, just, just a small example, on these YouTube videos, YouTube video gets posted, automatically I have a, an app that's called Zapier, Z-A-P-I-E-R, and it automatically will pull that information and bring it into Twitter, and it brings it into Discord. And these things happen automatically so that I can save time. So I'm using a little piece of technology. I set it up, it took me a while to set up, but now day after day, every time I post, I don't have to do that manually. So these are the things, the technologies that, small example, just make our lives easier that we should be utilizing, okay? So that's the message for today. If you're not already an insider, I cut out half the list. Half the list is gone. There's only 3,500 people on the list now. I want you to be one of those people. So people who are not opening the emails after a certain period of time, they're gone. We can clean up that list and I want you to be part of that. I just helped somebody uh, right away. I, they emailed me and said, hey, I, I need a consultation from you and I was able to help them directly through email. These are the things that I can do, but you got to get those emails. You got to sign up the, uh, the money gps.com or uh, right here at this thing over here or the money gps.com. Scroll down, fill in your email, get the insider's email list. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.